Hello everyone, I wanted to show you how you can download the assignments for class from GitHub and also how you can put the, your completed assignment files uh, back onto GitHub. So here I have a GitHub repository and <clears throat> there's a couple different ways that we can get these from GitHub onto your computer. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to fork the repository that is up here at the top and you're going to click on the fork button and what that will do is create a complete copy of this assignment repository from my GitHub account which has my name onto your GitHub account and you can only fork the repository once if you fork it again you'll get an error message saying that you already forked the repository and if you already forked it and you're on your own account uh, you can't fork your own repository so you'll also get a message saying that you can't fork your own repository so I'm not going to push the button because this is on my account and it's my own repository but that's the button you would push to fork this. So after you fork the repository, you can actually just download the files directly on your computer straight from GitHub. So to do that, you'll go up here to the top and click on the green code button and go to download zip. And once that downloads in Windows, when you go to open it, uh, it's going to give you this option to extract all and you're going to click on that and you'll get a little pop-up and usually it should default to having this show extracted files when complete checkbox checked and you want to leave it that way and hit extract and then you should have a folder with the files for the assignment I don't really have any extra files. There's the README file. So that is one way that you can get the assignment files from the repository onto your computer. Another way that you can do this. Oh, um, I guess we can just cover this. Uh, once you have completed your assignment files or your assignment, then you can uh, upload those directly to GitHub also by going up to the top next to the green code button click on add file and upload files and you can either click on the button to go choose your files or you can drag them from whatever folder to this uh, spot here on GitHub and then click on commit changes and your files will upload to your GitHub repository and you can turn in the link um, after you do that I'm just gonna hit cancel you can turn in the link to your repository a period copy it and then go turn that link in canvas for your assignment you can actually uh, do what they call cloning the repository using our studio so I have our studio open here and if I was going to clone this repository I would go up to the green code button and copy the repository URL and we'll go back down to where we were in the description and then in our studio we're going to go to File, New Project. You'll see it takes a second to open a little pop up window. Be patient. Version Control, Git. And you want to paste that URL that you copied into the repository URL window. You'll see that it suggests. A directory name you can give it a different name if you want to um, don't put any spaces in the name 
and then you want to select the folder where you want this and I think I have a folder here that I was using called repositories put it wherever you want it's gonna make a folder inside of that folder and you'll see I selected that and I've got repositories I'm gonna click open and now you'll see the folder you selected is there and I would go ahead and click this open in new session checkbox and then click create project so our studio is going to do some work and give it a second and a new window will pop up after a minute and you should notice that the files from your repository are in this folder and you'll see that this has the um, pathway to there um, just for fun I'm gonna make a blank file so I'm gonna click on this new blank file and you'll see there's several options I'm gonna make a text file and call it test File.txt. .txt is the file extension for text files. And you'll see that it added this text file there. And uh, after you complete your assignment, you can actually use GitHub to push your changes back to your GitHub repository. Uh, and you can use RStudio. I might have misspoke that. So you can use RStudio. Let's fix that. I'll fix that uh, to push this back to your assignment repository. So you're going to go to our studio and you're going to click on the Git tab on the upper right, above the upper right pane. And you're going to click on Commit. And you're going to get a new pop-up here and this goes a little bit slow so you might need to be patient and the file that I added is right there if you had an assignment file <clears throat> you would click next to it and you'll notice this does have a little bit of a delay so you'll just click it and be patient it'll it'll get checked and once that you once you check that file you're gonna add a commit message here on the right hand side and I'm gonna say added completed assignment and click on commit and once that's done you can click click the close on that pop-up and then you're going to click on pull to pull any if there's any differences and then you can click on push and you'll notice this does a little bit of work I think that's done and then if we go back to our repository and we can click on the code button and you'll see that my repository now has my new file uploaded to it. So there are a couple different ways that you can download your files from GitHub to your computer so you can do your assignments. One is copying the zip file and then uploading using GitHub. The other is cloning the repository using RStudio and pushing back to the repository. And then you can go copy the repository link and paste that into Canvas to turn in your assignments. I hope this is helpful and I hope you have a good day.